What's up squad, it's your squid here at Anxious Squid Productions. All my NFL videos get demonetized as soon as I upload them, so the purpose of this playlist and these videos is to gain more subscribers, so do me a solid. If this is the first time you've stumbled across me, check out my other playlists as well, consider subscribing, that'd be dope. These guys are my patrons, they go the extra mile after subscribing, so consider that as well if you want. Link's in the description, but yeah. This video is going to do what it says on the tin. It's a reaction video and it's NFL biggest or best blocks ever. Let's get into it. Did I say NHL? I meant NFL. Let's get into it. Alright, thanks for tuning back in to my regular subscribers. And yeah, as I said, if this is the first time you've stumbled across me, consider hitting the subscribe button. That'd be sick. The like button as well. You know how, how YouTube works. Uh, I'm, if you don't know who I am, I, my, I'm the Anxious Squid. And I am an American immigrant. I've been here about a year and a half now. And uh, yeah, I'm learning about the sports in America and trying to learn about American culture through the vein of sports because I feel like you know, that's the best vein to do it, and I love sports, so it's a win-win. Uh, and and from everything I've seen from NFL, you know, like I've looked into a whole bunch of players, I'll show you the list of players at the end of this video, but I've looked into a whole bunch of players, and, and I feel like blocking is underrated, but it's such an important facet of the game, you know what I mean? Like, some of the flashiest touchdowns don't occur without some, you know, dude running and busting his ass for 60 yards to just block uh, for the guy who's going to get all the glory and do the Deion Sanders jig into the into the end zone, you know? Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll shut up and we'll get into it. Eight year bench spent the last three years in Chicago. If you want to watch this, like the actual video without me and my reaction to it, the link's in the description as well. It does have time. Oh, big block. See you later. Up and under. I like it. I like how he diverted as well. He was like, will I get the pass? Will I get the pass? Nah, fuck it. Bang. See you later. Eat some grass. They didn't call that against him, did they? A special teams, it's a peel back block. Now he cannot go. Peel back block. Straight in the chest. Nothing wrong with it. Around the head, neck area with helmet, shoulder, and forearm. Hit him in the chest. Hit him straight in the chest. Yeah, there's whiplash, but we're not playing ballet, are we? It's fucking football. That's textbook. He hit him in the chest. Just a year ago today, head coach of the Ravens. Big penalty though. Fair bit of time as well. Good pass. Oh, that's savage. Lined him up. Like, don't get me wrong. It's great hit as well, but... Oh, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yeah, I bet he's winded. He's sucking him in. Dolphins Patriots. Oh, good step. Oh, yeah. That was a bit of a shoulder to the head, I think. Uh, that one... That one maybe might have hit the head, but hey, touchdown, touchdown causing block. Exactly what I'm talking about. So I mean, like, that touchdown doesn't happen without that monstrous hit. No mention of the block. They've silenced the crowd. Unless a silencer is a type of block, I don't know, maybe I'm ignorant. He had him lined up the whole time. Old mate that got hit was had his eyes on the football and the, the football carrier. And the other bloke the whole way was like, I'm a fucking mess you up. Shoulder to shoulder too. Fair hit. Not bad. It's a football play. Like it's unfortunate for the guy that got crunched, don't get me wrong, but it's a football play. Nice little flat throw, good step again. Oh, he's going around. Going a long way around. Oh, I missed the I missed the hit because I was watching the ball carrier. We'll see the replay, I'm sure. Oh, they're throwing a flag. We're gonna go back and see it because I don't know if they're gonna show the replay. Oh, that was another up and under one. I think he hit him in the chest as well. So. Just destroyed somebody. That's funny. 
five seconds left, so that's why they were still doing their thing. He should have gotten out of bounds, but he was trying to break him. He was trying to break him. Here we go with the replay. This will be closer. You're going to see number 81, Tim Brown, just label something. And I don't know who this is. Whack. Good night, he says. But to his credit, the play got straight back up. Oh, this is a punt. Jack Sanders. It's a good catch over his head like that as well. Oh, yeah. Knockout block. Uh, got him around the corner. That's Danny Woodhead. That got whacked. He needs to get down. He needs to get down on the ground now. He got hit high. No, I'm serious. I mean, you get a guy that's been hit like that, and look at his teammates are helping him out. They're trying to get him to lay down. The trainers will definitely get him on the ground. Oh, that's helmet to helmet. That's painful. Helmet to the head. Yep, that'll do it. That'll have you asking what your name is. He gets out of danger. He has an open field. Oh, that guy got airborne. As he gets to the oh. Oh. Oh, mate, so like, thanks for the block, mate. Mark Collins made the tackle. Good and looking out, bud. Could not keep up with Randall. Watch Cunningham him get airborne. This well, this is what Cunningham does best. Watch for the great block by Keith Byers on Pepper Johnson. Cunningham goes upfield. Watch him. He'll point, say, block him. Bang. Right there. Does the big block. Whoa. Trying to Randall balance himself in the, the air. Shot. Find out which way's up. Johnson. He had no idea. Two tight ends with more in the backfield for Roethlisberger from the 43. Good fake, good, good fake. Well, they know he got right by the uncoming rush. Two crunching hits, one after the other. The big side. block, big hit onto the uh, the ball carrier. The receiver who was warned, it's a gain of six on the play. Oh, that's He's unfortunate. The way at about the 40. He's having a bad time. Just keep an eye on Heinz Ward. I mean, this is a guy that... Yeah, see, he French fried when he should have beat him. That's like... He is unselfish, a great oof. competitor, and he's willing to block. Spaith, the one who caught the pass, time up. Well, it's 9-7-8. Out. Third down and four for the Vikes. Jackson hit as he let it go. Oh, well, I was about to say good sling and throw, but it turns out it was a bad one. It was a good intercept. Samuel gets... Oh, that was a choke slam. Did the Big Show suddenly decide he was playing for the, uh, who was that, the Eagles? Look at that, he literally picks him up and whack. Fourth during the postseason. That's, uh, that's, uh, Tavares Jackson, yeah. That's a thing. Old mate's backing up, he wants to catch it if it falls short. Which it has. He's caught it and he's going. I'm glad I called that. I feel somewhat uh, accomplished. Oh, he's got a couple of big... Oh, that was a big one. He's going to literally go from end zone to end zone. All right. All right. But that's the type of thing that doesn't happen without a few decent blocks as well. Let's have another look here. This will be a good... A good bang! I was about to say this will be a good angle. There's another one. Bang! Bang! See, three. Old mate 23 is going to get the plaudits for running 100 yards or whatever, 110 yards. But three or four big blocks, that's a team touchdown. Sorry, I'm talking over the commentators again. Uh, and that's a team touchdown, you know what I mean? I feel like that's a, it, one of the lower, lower or lesser spoken about aspects of the game, you know, that people that maybe just watch one sort of highlights clip and react to it and don't invest the time in watching the game, they don't understand the little facets that go into it. And it's like a game of chess like 3D chess, you know, like there's four or five levels of chess board and, and there's lots of different stuff happening. You know, I understand why the coaches get paid the big bucks and the, the not just the coaches, but the, the, the team managers, like the, I don't know who it is, 
what the what the official job title is in the NFL. In in hockey, it's a general manager. You know, the people that assemble the playing lists and stuff like that. Like it's a big deal, and it'd be a, a, a particular mindset that you have to have, I reckon, to try and get all the different pieces so that you have those three blokes that are going to be in the right spot at the right time to make those blocks when a, a kick falls short, and you've got the guy that has the skills to catch it and you know duke his way around and like yeah that's good football good football I don't know when people doing their job right bang bang <laughs> go to sleep have a bunk bed <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is old school. Having a good run. Oh, here he comes. You can see him cut the angle. Gets both of them, too. To the 47. So it's a 57 yard attempt by Jason Elam. This will fall short as well, I presume. And the kick Probably not hard to pick that, actually, in the end of it, considering it's a blocked video. The ball's still alive. Yep. You have one job, cameraman. One job. And McAllister is going to go all the way. Can you believe this? Mike Shanahan's effort is unbelievable. That's what the Show us what happens on another replay. Please and thanks. Surely a cameraman on the other side had it figured out. Yeah, there we go. He's figuring it out and he's going to throw a massive block here. Bang! If you were a pot plant, I just repotted you, champ. That's Keith Burns. Lift those roots out, give them some air. That's an intercept. Overcook the throw. Oh, missed that first block. Oh, big, big example of how to throw a block. Oh, he's still kept his feet too. Oh, there's another big block. Two, two massive blocks and a whole couple of little fid fidgety pushes and shovers. Shovers? Shoves. Um, great work by Jack Williams, but also great work by his teammates. Oh, that would have been a fucking savage tackle if it had landed. If he'd stuck it. This is good work by him to keep chasing, though. That's a massive block. Massive block. Watch 15 get flattened. No, 58, sorry. 58. Oh, you can see the whiplash and the crunching of his neck. Ouch. 58, bang. Just gets sat down. Gets sat down. All right, that was that video. So, uh, yeah, NFL biggest best blocks ever. I'm impressed. I love a good block. I reckon it's the best part about football. These guys are my patrons. They're awesome. If you want to join them and be a patron, then, you know, the link's in the description if you want to watch that video. Without my reactions to it, you just want to watch it for your own shits and gigs or react to it yourself or whatever, you know, the link's in the description. The link to all my other playlists is in the description as well. Check out the description. Utilize this time to look at the description. That'd be sick. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier in the video, I've got a list of players that I'm going to look into based on your suggestion or that I have looked into. That's that list right there. Uh, if you don't see your favorite player or your dad's favorite player or whatever on that list, if there are uh, highlights for them on YouTube, let me know. I'll put them on the list. Uh, and if you do see your favorite player, but I'm not getting to them soon, quick enough for you, let me know and I'll try and get back into it as quick as I can. Uh, Marion Barber's probably going to come next because uh, the guy that requested it requested it like six months ago and I've still not yet done it. So anyway, that's the list. Help me amend the list if you need me, uh, if you if you think I need to. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to get on with filming. And um, as I said earlier, as I said right at the start of the video, these NFL videos get demonetized as soon as I put them up. I don't get like copyright strikes or anything like that, which is dope. You know, they let me utilize their content, which is awesome. But any ads you see on this video are... The money's going straight to the NFL, not to me. So, if you can do me a solid, and at the very least, hit the subscribe button and the like button, that'd be solid. Get me in front of more eyeballs than on my other videos, where I do actually earn money. I'll get more eyeballs, and it'll, you know, it has a flow-on effect and all that jazz. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you when I look at you. You'll see me when you look at me. Thanks for watching.